We are on the record. Um, Mr. Brooks, I was provided with information that your test result was hand delivered to you, folded. Did you receive that? Uh, I was made aware of, of my test. I didn't look at it yet. So. Do you have it with you? It is. It's in my paperwork somewhere. All right. I need you to uh, locate it and open it up, please. Um, may I ask the reason why that would be? Mr. Brooks, you raised this issue yourself, and I'd like to know um, the result. I would, too, but I was kind of in the middle of preparing for my defense. so I... Mr. Brooks, find the piece of paper and open it up and read it, please. Your Honor, I don't consent to being talked to in that fashion. Your lack of consent is noted for the record. Please find the piece of paper, open it up, and please read it. I will not consent to that, Your Honor. Or do I agree to that, Your Honor? I do not. Mr. Brooks, then I'm going to advise the Sheriff's Department to find the piece of paper and hand it to me so that I can read it. And so that those are your two options. What would be the basis for that, Your Honor? Mr. Brooks, this is an issue that you raised, and I need to bring it to finality and know what the test result is. Okay, with all due respect, it was uh, a motion that I raised. All right, um, I'm going to clear the courtroom. We're going to go off the record, and uh, we're going to find that piece of paper, and I'm going to address it when that's done. Excuse everyone from the courtroom. Take a recess so that the test result could be obtained, and if necessary, by reasonable force. Um, it's my understanding there was some type of situation or altercation between Mr. Brooks and the deputies. Um, ultimately, though, I think he was taken into the bullpen. He was brought back out, but it was very clear to me that he was upset. Um, I think understandably so, uh, but um, I needed to make a record of what was being done. Uh, including that I have obtained the test result uh, so that there's an accurate record in this case uh, related to the motion that was raised previously by uh, Mr. Brooks. I want Mr. Brooks to know that I am not um, removing him from uh, when the jurors are brought back in. It was just simply because he was upset. Um, he was um, very loud when I walked into the courtroom before going on uh, back on the record. Um, he was uh, yelling about his constitutional rights being violated. Um, I advised him that if there was any type of use of force that he wanted to complain about, he could certainly do that through the proper channels uh, with the sheriff's department. But just given his state of agitation and my need to make a record, um, I had him taken to the other courtroom. He is currently muted. I do not intend to go forward uh, with additional testimony, ultimately I'm going to take an early lunch break because of this, um, but I will make a record of the following. I have the result. Um, I am going to scan it, have my clerk scan it. It will be filed as confidential, though. It won't be available to the public, uh, but I, it's there for appellate purposes, but I can confirm that the test result for COVID-19 was negative. And again, I required... Uh, the Sheriff's Department to provide that result to me, um, and it was, and it will remain under seal. I realize I'm disclosing that result, but I feel obligated to do that given the motion that was raised two days ago by uh, Mr. Brooks. Again, I do intend to take an early lunch. Uh, so that will hopefully give Mr. Brooks an opportunity, if he so chooses, to review the result himself. It was put in front of him. I did see that he either shoved it or tossed it or just dismissed it. It looked like it went on the floor uh, when it was put in front of him, but we'll certainly have the deputies give that to him again. During the recess for lunch, uh, Mr. Brooks will also be given the opportunity to change into street clothes, if he so chooses. But when we come back, he will be in 
this courtroom. I agree. Uh, Mr. Brooks was making a couple of statements about how he was abiding by the rules and being respectful, things of that nature. I agree. He's done an excellent job while in court here this morning. He's been respectful of the rules. Um, he made some um, early on. I let him, you know, make his con uh, objections or lack of consent. Um, he did that respectfully. Um, when I said I was moving on, he generally was able to do that. We were able to get through two witnesses. He was able to follow along, ask cogent, clear, um, responsive, and articulate objections. He was able to elicit uh, information from the witnesses um, regarding either their memory, their credibility, um, and other things. Um, generally speaking, he's um, been able to competently uh, represent himself and provide, uh, again, solid cross-examination this morning. So I'm going to give him an opportunity to hopefully settle back in and to come back here um, when we return from lunch. So with that, we are in recess. Uh, probably come back at 1 o'clock since it's only 11.30, and we'll take the full 90 minutes for lunch today. All right, thank you, everyone. Thank you.